video on how to calculate menstrual cycle and how to know your safe period, how not to get pregnant. I have been getting a lot of messages on my DM and also on uh, my YouTube comment section to make a video on how to get pregnant. You will agree with me that infertility is an issue that has eaten deep into our society and if care is not taken, it has led to divorce and also a polygamous nature in um, in the family. Good day everyone and welcome back to Nurses Lecture YouTube channel. My name is Miss Mary, popularly known as a nurse with the difference and I make learning easy and accessible for students. Today, I'm specifically going to be talking to the women that are having problems giving birth. So today, I'm going to be talking about how to get pregnant. The useful tip that you should take note of how to get preg on how to get pregnant. So if you are a woman, if you are a mother that wants to get pregnant, but you're having difficulties and challenges in getting pregnant, this video is for you. And also, if you are a nurse or a nursing student, this video is for you. It will enable you to be able to tell your patients and also give them advice on how to get pregnant. But before we go into the days, if you are new on our YouTube channel, please click on the subscribe button, turn on the notification button so you don't miss out. For our returning subscribers, I am saying thank you, thank you for staying with us all through. Let's go there. Alright, welcome back. Like I earlier said, today I'm going to be sharing with us useful tips on how to get pregnant. Useful tips on how to get pregnant. All I want you to do is to avoid all distractions and focus on this video so you don't miss out on any of the points. The first and most important point I have to share with you is to know your menstrual cycle. Yes. You have to know your menstrual cycle. If you don't know your menstrual cycle, you won't be able to know your fertile period and your unfertile period. For those that have not watched our video on how to calculate your menstrual cycle, you can check the link on the about section of this page. You'll be able to get the link or click on the link you are seeing above to actually um, have access to this video so you will be able to calculate your menstrual cycle and when calculating it you don't do it for just a month and say oh i am having 28 days cycle i am having 29 days cycle i am having 27 days cycle no you have to do it at least for three months three to six months check the duration no oh between my uh my uh my last meses and this meses how many days interval do it for like three months then you'll be able to know oh i'm having a regular meses my cycle is 28 days every 28 days i'm always seeing my meses every 29 days i'm always seeing my meses every 32 days i am always seeing my meses the first and most important method is to know what to know your menstrual cycle because if you don't know this menstrual cycle there is no way you'll be able to know oh this is my safe period i am unsafe i am not unsafe so if you know this your menstrual cycle what's next so that is why i have calculated your filter period for you free of charge so if you know your cycle i'm going to be telling you your fertile period so there's no need to tell me oh no miss mary i'm having 32 days what's my fertile period i'm having 28 days what is my fertile period so i actually documented them on my phone so i'll be using my phone to tell you your fertile period and your unfiltered period remember this is not 100 percent effective but has been proven to work on several occasions so, for those that are having 24 day cycle, every 24 days you see your meses. Your ovulation date is day 10. You are having 24 day cycle, your ovulation date is the day 10. Then, most fertile period is between day 9 to 11. Take note. So, if you know your menstrual cycle is 24, your ovulation period is what? Day 10. And your most fertile period is between day 9 to day 11. So having sexual intercourse between your most fertile period 
guarantees a little possibility that's a possibility of getting pregnant that is if you are sure of your menstrual cycle don't assume you have to calculate your menstrual cycle then for those with 25 um cycle your cycle is 25 days every 25 days you see your measures your ovulation period is day 11 so your most fertile period is day 9 to day 11 you are most fertile then for those sorry for 25 days cycle your ovulation period is day 11 and the most fertile period is between day 10 to day 12 take note then for those with 26 cycle length your ovulation period is day 12 your most fertile period is day 11 to day 13 for those with um, 27 day cycle your ovulation period is day 13 and your most fertile period is day 12 to 14 for those with 28 day cycle your ovulation period is day 14 and your most fertile period is between day 13 and day 15 for those with 29 cycle lengths your ovulation period is day 15 and your most fertile period is between day 14 to day 16. For those with 30 day cycle lengths, your ovulation period is day 16. For those with 30 now, your ovulation period is what? Day 16. And your most fertile period is between day 15 to day 17. For those with 31 day cycle lengths, your ovulation period is day 17 and your most fertile period is between day 16 to day 18. For those with 32 day cycle, your ovulation date is day 18 and your most fertile period is between day 17 to day 19. For those with 33 day cycle, your ovulation period is day 19 that's your ovulation date then your most fertile period is day 18 to day 20. for those with 34 day cycle your ovulation date is day 20 and your most fertile period is between day 19 to day 21. for those with 35 days period which is looking abnormal 35 and 36 is kind of abnormal but your um, your possible ovulation date for 35 days period is day 21 and your most fertile period is between day 20 to day 22 why for those with 36 um, um, days period that's abnormal though i'm saying it's abnormal because it's not right your ovulation date is day 20 and your most fertile period is between day 21 to day 23 so you know your cycle length once you've calculated your menstrual cycle you know your cycle length you know your ovulation date you will know your what your most fertile period so during this most fertile period that is the period you have to have frequent sexual intercourse because during this period the sperm will be able to get to the egg because your ovulation date is the day the egg is being released so the sperm will be able to get to the egg get fertilized and what and your baby will start forming so now you know your cycle you know your ovulation date and you know your most fertile period what you have to do to me to what you have to do for me is to go back and have sexual intercourse on your fertile period to get pregnant is that clear so the first and most important thing when applying the natural method of fertilization is to what to know your cycle after knowing your cycle check out your cycle i just listed all of them now the filter period your unfilter period and all that check it out and that is going to help you for those that are very observant if you notice your menses is always 14 days from your ovulation after your 14 days after your ovulation you are always seeing your menses from these figures i gave so once you know all this getting pregnant is definitely going to be easy like i said don't assume your menstrual cycle 
calculate it for at least three months to get an average or to get an estimate so you know okay this is what i am working with and also another tip i would like to share with you is that you should try as much as possible to eat good eat well eat good food eat food rich in iron stay healthy stay hydrated stay excited and remain positive sometimes this tension of i want to get pregnant sex becomes very very annoying for us to engage in. I'm like oh pregnancy i'm just hoping because you are, you are expectant the fun involved in sexual intercourse will no longer be there so you just have to stay happy stay positive enjoy the whole flow and show your baby list form and give me your comment in the comment section for those that have tried this you can see it, check it out and tell me if it worked perfectly well for those that have not tried it you can go on and try it get your calendar it takes little or nothing for you to do that thank you very much for staying tuned thank you very much for watching our video don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to share with a friend if you got value if you are a student nurse and you have not registered for our classes on telegram sincerely you have been missing a lot all you have to do is to send a message to the whatsapp number showing on your screen when you send a message you register with us you have access to all our voice notes on the various system your cardiovascular your respiratory your digestive system community health research and also mental health for just one-time registration so if you are a student now send a message to the whatsapp number like i said showing on your screen to have access to all our voice notes see you in class bye